sorry about the delay. I've been busy this morning. Uh, first up, I'd like to uh, approve the agenda. If there's no additions or deletions, I need a motion and support. Move to adopt the agenda. Support. support. We have a motion by Pulaski, support by Snell. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those the same? Uh, uh, okay, the yeah. same for the neck nose. Passes unanimously. I'm trying to slow down. Uh, Move on to public comment. Is there any public comment? No public comment. Move on to item four, our minutes from the last month meeting. Unless there's any changes, uh, we need to... Uh, move to approve the minutes. Move the minutes. Support. We have a motion and support. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimous. We'll move on to four, item 4B, appointments. Okay, we have the City of Jackson LDFA BRA County Representative. Currently, it's a uh, member is Commissioner Snell, applicant for the next term, which will end in March of 2025, is Jeremy Alexander. I'd make that a motion. Do I have support? I'll move that. Okay. Uh, we'll forward. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Passes unanimously. That will be forwarded. I don't think we forwarded it. I think that's it. Congratulations, Jeremy. Next up, item 4C, finance our May report. Welcome, Cecilia. Good morning. So um, I am here to report on May's financial statement. As you can see from our benchmark, we're five twelfths into the year, and that's a 41.7%. Um, as you can also see, our year-to-date expenditures are below that, which is good. And you can also see our three-year revenue percent total is 20.7. We're even above the, our revenues um, based on our three-year average. Um, and just kind of going through our financial statements on page two, um, I do note that we are doing a jury fees um, mileage budget amendment, and you'll see that in my next report. Um, that'll take care of that difference there. Um, is there any questions anybody has on the May's financial report? We're within budget. Things are looking good through May. I have no concerns. Any questions, board? It's amazing how we project a budget and you're staying on the budget. And I do my best. <laughs> Awesome. There's a lot that goes into it. <laughs> I don't know where the credit goes, to Michael Overton and the team, or to you to keep it on it? It's everybody. <laughs> very much. Okay, we'll move on to, uh, to uh, item 4D, budget amendment. Oh, pardon me? Move to accept. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> a motion and support to accept your report. Okay. Uh, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously and always a good report. Uh, we'll move on to the next item, 4D. All right, so um, this is my second quarter budget amendment, and the biggest thing that I'm trying to account for is we did receive that partial SRI um, resolute payment, so I am accounting for that. And then there's just a couple of things that I um, noted. Um, housekeeping and maintenance um, with LifeWays. I increased their revenue because they increased their cost. There was a, a, um, a this board approved an, an additional person. So I just wanted to account for that. Um, and then anything that was remaining in the revenue side, I am moving over to our capital account to try to build up that capital account for future per, for, for future use. So that's kind of what this whole budget amendment is trying to do. Are there any questions on it? Commissioner Pulaski. Yes. Okay. I have a motion by Pulaski, support by Snell. Okay, we have a question. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just just so I understand what you got, yeah. Cecilia. Yeah, no problem. I see the the transfer out to JC dot of two hundred eight thousand. I assume that is the uh, that's the match for the um, the road work that we uh, I acted on 
last month? Exactly. Okay. So the full board approved that. So I just wanted to account for it in a budget amendment since I was doing it. Mm -hmm. And then the transfer out public improvement, is that dealing with the SRI monies that came in? Yeah, it's kind of, it, was, it was like, well, it's the remainder of, of the increasing of revenues and expenses. It's what I had left in that general fund. Okay. And so whatever I had left, I moved over to there and just have it as a contingency right now until the board decides how they would like that used. Okay. And with respect to the juror fees and mileage, is that because we're just experiencing more in the way of uh, jury trials, or have we changed the rate that we pay to jurors? No, I don't believe we the changed. The magnificent rate we pay to jurors, by the way. Yeah, we. I don't believe there's a change in rate to the jurors. It's just that we've just had more juries, you know what I mean? And so we're trying to get caught up from the pandemic, and so i just trying to account for that. So there's... Because um, it's also within the res re um, reimbursement, too. Because it looks goofy, I would think... Um, um, Commissioner Duckham's made a point on that. It's like, what's, what's this $300,000 or whatever? You know what I'm trying? I'm just trying to get it in a little more in line. <laughs> I, I have no further questions, uh, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Cecilia. No problem. Thank you. Uh, we, need a, we have a motion support. We got a, a uh, motion on the table uh, on the budget amendment. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good Cecilia. day. Cecilia. Next up, 4E, facilities. Welcome, Rick. Good morning, Mr. Chair, Commissioners. I have with me today Mr. Paul French. He's the hydrogeologist from Envirologic. They're our environmental consultant on this project, which has been ongoing since the 1990s. At our Blackstone garage, we had a underground storage tank leak back in 1998 that um, was pretty significant, contaminated quite a bit of the soil. The plan at that point in time was to monitor the amount of contamination and then We moved forward and kept monitoring the contamination. The, the contaminated soil was allowed to stay in place based on the data from the testing that had taken place. It started to recede, but only to the point where uh, the DEQ at that point in time allowed us to stay with our uh, process, which was letting the organisms in the soil devour the uh, petroleum that was contaminating. Uh, the good part about it was it was working. The bad part is it takes up to, correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, 35 years or so for the bugs to eat all the contamination. So moving forward, the state condemned the property and purchased it from the county for the I-94 expansion. Okay, you know, they tore down the animal shelter, uh, but they left the maintenance garage in place. Last year, in June, I had a call from the state, which is Eagle folks, who said, uh, we'd like to remove all the contamination from that site, and we're going to pay to do it. And because of the way the soil contamination works, we are responsible for it until it's all taken care of. And Mike and I talked about it, and it's like it made total sense to have the state pay for it. This is through um, their triage program. And here we are today where they started looking into it. They had an issue with groundwater because the Blackstone Garage is part of the Grand River floodplain. If you come off Lansing Avenue down Hillsdale Street to Blackstone, there's a fall of approximately 100 feet. It's down there quite low and there's a lot of groundwater there. So where I'm going with this, we have um, a lot of groundwater present and we're 
in talking with the state. They said they had the money to remove the soil and the contaminated groundwater, but they didn't have funding to do what's called dewatering, and that's where they pump the water out of the excavation site so that they can keep digging. Instead of uh, digging up slop, they basically dig up drier soil. You'll see this um, in any construction site where the groundwater is present like this. So, where I'm going with this, we had the state's contractor, PM Environmental, give us a quote using uh, pre-negotiated pricing from the state to conduct the dewatering portion of the cleanup uh, at a cost of $46,300. The reason I recommend that we do this whole process is that soil is still extremely contaminated. It, hindsight being 2020, we should have removed it back in 1998 instead of leaving it, but here it is. Uh, thanks to Mr. French, uh, the state has a MUSTA program, Michigan Underground Storage Tank Authority, that has a legacy fund, and they have agreed to pay for half the cost of the dewatering uh, process. So our cost would be half of 46300 It's just we have to pay that amount up front, and that's why I'm asking for approval of the whole $46,300. Sorry to bore you all. It's just... You needed to tell us. You needed to tell us. We need to understand it. Comments board discussion. Okay. Uh, motion made by Pulaski, supported okay. by Walls. Uh, discussion. Discussion. Are we ready to vote? Oh, go ahead, Tony. Good morning. Um, State Senator, right up that the uh, contingency fund will pay for this. Um, which contingency fund is that? It, it's the one set up by our finance department. So it's a county general contingency fund? It's in the capital account. 245. I didn't hear that. Capital. It's the, in the 245 capital improvement fund, Tony. Okay, thank you. It would be nice to have this problem gone. Amen. Okay, any further questions? Discussion? Are we ready for a vote? All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Both. Chair. Job well done. Next up, uh, parks. Uh, I have not been successful at reaching someone from the park, so I apologize, but I don't see anyone. Do we want to take action? Uh, what's the pleasure board? Forward it? Okay. We'll just forward this to the full board for discussion. Work? They're not here. So not as part of the consent. Right. If it is in the consent agenda, we'll, we'll have it move because Kyle should be here to uh, let us know what's going on. Correct? Correct. It'll be on the regular, regular agenda. Okay, uh, I'll make the motion we move it forward to the full board and it'll be on the regular, regular agenda next Tuesday night at the Board of Commission meeting. Support. Okay, we have a motion and support. Go ahead, Steve. This is the acceptance of the consent. It appear under consent. All you would do would be accept it and it would appear under consent. This is what makes the two point nine million dollars work. Was the eight hundred thousand dollars this guy gave us. I will out of his pocket. I will withdraw my motion and uh 
they well, I just want to explain. Yeah, I'm comfortable with the motion. I just want the being a member of the parks board. I was going to explain the action that was needed here. It's just a simple acceptance of a gift, and it can go on. It could go on the consent agenda, but if the board, if this committee deems it appropriate, it'll appear as a general action item being on it, the Tuesday night agenda. Being it's a gift, I would rather accept it and move it forward to have the consent agenda. So. The gift gets recognized. Does that sound like an option, Commissioner Plusky? Uh, thanks, Mr. Chair. I I um, I am very much appreciative of the very substantial gift that's been given. But this uh, the the uh, staff recommendation is to approve a surface lease. So that's uh, the, the the nature of the item that's that I see on the agenda here. And I I would, if it's in order, Mr. Mr. Chair, I I'd move the adoption of the staff recommendation to approve the lease and move it on to consent agenda. Yep. Do you have a second? Okay. Motion by Plusky. Supported by Walls. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed the same. Passes unanimously. Thank you for the solution. Go ahead, Tony. S Steve from the uh, Fair Board meeting. Can you remind me or let the full board know we, we're receiving a substantial gift we're gonna have to maintain that property do we know what our maintenance costs are going to be over the next or over the duration of this lease no we do not but that's what we um, passed the general operations millage for is to be able to maintain gifts like this so again uh, Deborah will get with Kyle and get us an answer, and that will be available Tuesday night. Thank you. Yes, sir. A very, very generous, much appreciated gift. Uh, move on to other business, the claims. To make uh, Everybody sign the claims. We need a motion and support to pay them. Motion by Alexander. Support, support by... Walls, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the same. Okay, uh, other minutes? There are none. Reporting schedule next month, finance, pension, annual, enterprise group, semi-annual, chamber of commerce, semi-annual. We'll go back to second phase of public comment. We have no public. Committee member comment. Any comment? Uh, I'd like to thank the board for uh, getting us through that park lease agreement. Uh, experience showed. Okay, uh, meeting adjourned. Thank you.